No, no, So that's just one of the many reasons why we do the job that we do and we're glad to have so many people here this evening who are wanting to uh, look at joining the profession. So just before I start with regards to our alliance, I just want to ask some of our current trainees who have joined um, Ringwood School Teaching School Alliance to just give a little bit of an overview of the experiences that um, they have had and the reason why they have chosen to come to uh, train through Ringwood School. So if I can start with Jane, that would be great if you don't mind unmuting yourself, Jane, and... Um, we can hear from you. Oh, hi, I'm Jane. Um, I'm uh, currently studying chemistry, so I'm doing my chemistry P uh, PGC here. Um, I first got into um, doing this when I was working at previous school as a science technician. Another mature student working there encouraged me. She was um, in her late 40s and I'm in my early 50s and she said it's never too late to start. Um, she introduced me to a website called Get Into Teaching, which is a government website, which is where I got most of the information to get started. It's absolutely brilliant. Thoroughly recommended going in there. They tell you all about the various routes in. I then applied through UCAS, um, which led me to Ringwood. And of all the schools that I looked at, Ringwood was easily the best. They've been friendly, they've been supportive. And I have to say, I haven't had any reason to regret any of the decisions I've made. It's been really great. I've had learned so much already and I can just see this being an incredible year. Hard, definitely, but very, very worth it. Thank you so much, Jane. That's uh, really appreciated and hard, you're right, but rewarding most definitely. So um, I wonder if Jess, you might be able to just unmute yourself and uh, give us uh, your take on it all. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Jess. I'm also uh, doing the chemistry PGCE. Um, uh, I think that video that we've just watched actually really resonated with me and that was one of the reasons why I wanted to get into teaching. Um, I would spent sort of my career working uh, with offenders and actually I wanted to be part of uh, young people's lives and making sort of positive impact on young people. Um, I started actually by coming to the school and having a little look around. I'm not sure if they're doing open days now or not due to covid um, but i came and had a look around had a sit in the science room and all of the staff were so supportive and really motivational and i also spoke with a trainee um who was the, here last year and she was very encouraging as well saying it's great if you want to do it go for it um giving it a try um and then so that sort of leads on to this first sort of month or so um being in post um and it's yeah a bit of a baptism of fire there is a lot going on um but really enjoyable and i think the most important thing that i've experienced in this first month is just the support from the staff and that's been really invaluable to have uh you know those people around me uh helping me along on the journey so yeah Thanks so much, uh, Jeff. That's great. Really appreciated as well. And um, just hearing finally, if we may, from Lucy, if that's all right, Lucy, if you don't mind unmuting yourself and then um, we can get your take on training through the Ringwood School Partnership. Okay. Hello, I'm Lucy. I'm training to teach modern language at Ringwood School. Um, and for me, I really wanted to do a school direct route because I wanted to do my teaching training from day one in a school I just wanted to see what like, uh, kind of literally in the deep end um, and I definitely don't regret it at all I have been in school from day one from the first inset day um, I've been experiencing what actual teachers experience every day um, and it is amazing like here I'm actually doing some actual 
actual French marking, which I would never have expected if I hadn't have looked up the school direct route. Um, and I think as well, um, for me, Ringwood wasn't necessarily the most convenient choice. It's not the nearest place to me, but I ended up choosing it because I just had such an amazing time when I was interviewed. I had an online interview and everybody was so welcoming and I enjoyed it so much. As soon as I finished the interview, I just thought that's where I want to go. Um, so it's a little bit of a commute, but I definitely do not regret it. Thanks very much, Lucy. And uh, just a little bit okay. of a tweak, you, little bit of a um, tweaky correct connection there. And uh, if you didn't catch it, Lucy's actually doing uh, MFL. She's training with us and marking as we speak, multitasking at its best, which is exactly what we do as teachers. Alicia, I'm putting you on the spot. I know you were running a little bit late. Did you want to unmute yourself and just give us a little bit of an overview of um, the subject you're training in and uh, why you chose Ringwood School Partnership? Okay, so um, I am doing EP or RE um, and I chose Ringwood because I'd heard really good things about it. A few of my friends went to um, the school and they also went to the sixth form um, and they said that the EP department was really good. Um, it's also um, convenient for me because it's quite near um yeah and my interview um everyone is really really friendly at ringwood which is one thing i have found is that i went to other schools and they weren't particularly welcoming whereas i think ringwood is um everyone knows everyone and that's what's always nice like people always say good morning good afternoon Whereas other schools I've been to, the departments can be very cliquey. Um, but yeah, that's kind of why I chose Ringwood and yeah. Lovely. Thank you so much, Alicia. Thanks very much. I put you on the spot there as you arrived. So uh, it's just really <laughs> No worries. Okay. So I'll just move back over to um, the presentation and I'll just talk you through this. Uh, so we're Ringwood School Teaching School Alliance and we're a national teaching school and we cover uh, quite a vast um, a sort of geographical spread um, in the south coast. Um, I know some of you are zooming in to us this evening from different places and countries indeed. So we're on the south coast of, of England, Hampshire, Dorset, Wiltshire, Bournemouth and Poole we cover which is um, fairly uh, rural in its geographical spread. Uh, so we uh, sit in the heart of it and work with many schools who support us in our commitment to provide um, the highest quality teacher training, uh, working with amazing practitioners in fantastic schools. We have a real diverse range of school placements from um, comprehensive schools in rural areas to single sex education in um, towns to grammar schools as well. So the full, the full gambit really. And that allows us to really um, give trainees a great breadth of experience from uh, the home school that they do the majority of their training in, but also to the second school placement, which allows them a little bit of diversity to their main placement. So that actually when you start to apply for jobs, you've got a feel of what sort of school you like. Do you like a single sex um, school? So maybe you want to teach in an all boys school or perhaps no, you really uh, appeal to the, to the grammar school setting and you can make those decisions based on your training. So, um, it's also to look at professional development beyond teacher training as well, so that we are not only looking at supporting you through your first year into teaching, but beyond as well through leadership development um, at all levels. And then hopefully, who knows, onto headship, maybe that's where you're destined to go. So that's our commitment really to initial teacher training and working with an outstanding uh, provider in Winchester University. We're delighted to have that link. And um, I know Malcolm will tell you more about that in the moment. So why is School Direct different to other routes? Well, I think the main thing for us is that it, um, it is about starting on day one in September as part of the school community. And I think it was, um, Lucy was saying about the fact that, you know, you, you start here from the very get go. You're not a trainee. You are actually seen in the eyes of the students as another member of staff. So the learning curve is a lot more steep in School Direct because it is about getting and hitting the ground running from September. Um, whereas some of the other routes will give you a bit more of a steadier start, maybe a few days a week in school and then some days in university, where actually with the teacher uh, the school direct route, um, you are straight in and uh, you, are, you are a member of the team from the get go. 
So there are two different types of um, school direct place that you can apply for. One which is the salaried, which means that um, there is an expectation that you will deliver some lessons um, with, without a mentor being with you. And the more traditional route, the non-salaried, uh, which allows you to have constant support and guidance through a mentor being with you, giving you uh, good tips, top tips to be able to improve what you're doing and um, become the best teacher that, that you can be. There are bursaries and scholarships. Sadly, at the moment, they aren't um, publicised as to what they'll be for 2021-22. But I give you a little bit more detail about that and also the subject knowledge enhancements with there being a few changes through that. So we are looking to offer some salaried uh, routes this year and um, they come with a, uh, as it suggests, a salary of the unqualified one scale, which is approximately 17,600. Um, there are no training fees um, through that route. They are covered for you. Uh, but there is an expectation that you're a high quality graduate with some work experience that lends itself really to in the classroom. Um, so you've got some experience of training or you've got some experience working with young people through clubs. Um, but as it says there, it doesn't have to come specifically from school, but um, some element of being able to impart information to others and to have them receive that information and do something with it is a really good place to start from. And the subjects you can see there that we're looking at are on the, on the right of that slide. Um, the thing that I will say about the salaries is once we know what the bursaries are like for the training route, it may well be that actually the bursaries um, exceed the amount that the unqualified one pays at. So it might be that you feel actually having the, um, the more supported route through training is going to be preferable to you. Uh, and there won't be that expectation that you will teach um, some of the lessons without your mentor there, depending on how you feel about it and the relationship with the school. So this is our tuition fee, so the non-salaried route. So you can see we've got many, many, many more um, subjects offered here. And this does come with a, a tuition fee. So there is a £9,250 um, to pay for the year if you are a, um, a UK or E national um, and the University of Winchester will be able to give you help with regards to fees if you are an overseas um, student. So lots of subjects here and a wide range and we are always keen to hear from everybody. Um, so hopefully you can see your, either your subject there or your phase there if you're particularly looking for primary. Um, we are a both primary and secondary phase teacher training provider at Ringwood School. And we have two amazing uh, primary schools in Bournemouth who we work with year on year and they are looking uh, to train this year um, as they always have done. So if you're looking for primary, we are also your right place. So as I said at the moment, the uh, bursaries and scholarships haven't been publicised, but if you keep an eye on the Get Into Teaching website, then that information will be there as soon as, um, as it's published. There are differences between the tax-free bursary or scholarship to the tuition fees and the extra financial support, which sometimes you can get through the different um, subjects. Specialists, for example, the British Computer Society will um, offer additional um, funding for computing, sci uh, computing trainees. So you can look out for those additional things. But sadly, as I say, um, as we've come out tonight, then that information is just not available. You can see the information from last year, but I've chosen not to put that here because it does vary um, year on year. And I wouldn't want to give anybody false information. Um, so please do check when that comes out. But information is there to help you. So we've got lots of schools that we work with in our partnership, either for um, hosting uh, primary places in terms of the first teaching place uh, across the year, your home school, as we would call it. And then schools who just offer the short placement between January and February half term, uh, which is your second school placement. After that, you'll go back to your main school um, to finish off your training. But you do have a period where you are going to go to a different place. And some of the schools that are listed on here are offering those uh, for our trainees and uh, gives us that breadth that I was talking about earlier with regards to the variety of schools. Um, the reason we publicise these really is because um, sometimes some of the schools will offer uh, the same subjects. So you as the trainee will need to decide which of the schools would you prefer to um, train in. And that might be geographically based. Actually, you know you live particularly close to one of those and that would suit you better. Um, or it might be that um, you are particularly interested in a type of school, like I said. And also maybe you want to have a look at what the ethos of the school is, what their values are, and whether that aligns to what you um, are about and how you will fit into it. So my advice is always to have a look on their website, see what it's about, 
and um, sadly open visits to schools are limited at the moment and so it will be very difficult to do anything other than to look on their websites and make phone calls if um, you're particularly keen to speak to the school about um, training with them. Uh, do that because they will be willing to, to speak with you but visits I'm afraid at the moment while we're in the current situation are, are not going to be um, possible particularly um, at this time. So sad as it is but the websites for schools will be very comprehensive for you to have a look at and hopefully you'll get a good flavour from them. Um, so we are, have a number of schools um, and I'm pleased that um, Nikki Blackmore is um, on the call with us tonight and she is uh, from Avonbourne Boys and Girls Academy which is in Bournemouth and you can see that they are looking for a number of um, tuition fee places so they are uh, a long-standing partner of ours in, um, in School Direct and previously through other training ways that we've, we've worked with and so uh, great mentoring support through Avonbourne. Um, so please do feel free to make contact with Nikki. Her email is on the bottom there. She will be delighted to talk to you about um, the way in which initial teacher training operates at the school and a little bit more about the school in detail. So a great one to consider. Um, you can see there that they're part of United Learning, which is um, a huge multi-academy trust, which is um, a really interesting, um, new way in which education is being um, established really so being part of a multi-academy trust can have real strengths and benefits for you over 75 schools nationally so you know in terms of jobs and moving and prospects and there's plenty to be seen there and um, a mixed comprehensive school uh, with a sixth form as well and uh, you can see some of the details that, um, that Nikki is sharing there, but a really comprehensive CPD, CPD standing for a uh, continued professional development program. So you would be well looked after and well developed in that school and their mentoring is, is also um, fantastic, their mentors. Um, the Burgate School is in Fordingbridge, which is just between Ringwood and Salisbury. And again, they're a mixed comprehensive school. They, um, have a hundred um, year groups of 150 students and they also have a sixth form so they are um, really interested please do contact Sarah whose email address is there if you're interested in hearing from them seeing what they have to offer um, a great school and again a great track track record with um, initial teacher training and I'll show you where you can see that the places that they have uh, Glenmore and Winton also you'll notice um, the logo is very similar to Avonbourne's and that's because they are also part of the United Learning uh, multi-academy trust and they're an outstanding rated um, academy in the centre of Bournemouth as well and so uh, you would be joining the similar maps to or the same maps to Avonbourne so um, again we've worked with them for a long time and uh, they are as usual asking for to um, train trainees this next year through our partnership. We've also got Nikki Dossett on the call tonight, who is from Noted School, and we've worked with them for a long time. This is geographically um, over towards Southampton, which is um, a bit a bit uh, further to the east of our patch, which is a great uh, great place to train. Mixed comprehensive again, um, high performing school, and uh, very very strong in initial teacher training and um, in continued professional development. Uh, a great website to have a look at and again Nikki will be delighted to speak to anybody who might be interested in the places that they are offering in maths, physics, chemistry and design technology, um, specifically food. So do have a look at that if those subjects um, tick your boxes. Ourselves at Ringwood School, we are mixed comprehensive. Um, we've been a national teaching school now for nine years and have been working in initial teacher tra training for over 20 years. And this year we are hosting 10 trainee teachers at Ringwood because we're large enough to be able to do that across our subjects. And so uh, we have an extensive range of subjects that you can look at and our website is available for you to, to find out more information about. Um, Serum Academy is in Salisbury. So again, this is at the most northern point of our um, geographical location. And uh, they are always keen to look at great trainees um, to work with their young people in the environment that they support up in, in Salisbury and Jen who's the head teacher there would be delighted to receive any um, inquiries from you. Uh, they've supported across sciences in the past and uh, history and PE so uh, plenty there on offer for you and they are part of the Magna Learning Partnership which is a multi-academy trust. 
Uh, St Edmunds also part of that Magna Learning Partnership and Wyvern, they are a girls and boys school which is recently amalgamated, so really interesting, um, a re really interesting school in Salisbury. So um, they have been in the partnership now for a few years as well and we're, we're really pleased to have them on board again this year. Uh, so please do have a look at their website. Now, if you're particularly interested in primary schools, then Malmesbury Park Primary, primary which um, we've worked with for many years, and Nick Smith is the uh, deputy there who's coordinating um, the initial teacher training. Huge diversity, 38 languages spoken, so English is an additional language. EAL is um, really big on their agenda. And 720 plus children, so quite a large primary school um, over in Bournemouth, that is Malmesbury Park. So, um, you can see that there and they have uh, a unit that provides support for children with um, autism, um, ASD, um, autistic spectrum disorder. So that might be something that um, is of interest to you to train in a place um, that has that specialist focus. And more down St John, again also in Bournemouth in a primary school, this time a faith-based school, so a Church of England school and they have been um, really pivotal in working with us around primary education and deliver on some of the input that happens as well. And uh, Gina Angelini, uh, who is the deputy head over there, would be delighted to hear from you and her colleague Amy to um, get answer any questions that you might have. They have trainees there at the moment as well, who'd be also delighted, I know, to speak to you if um, you wanted to ask any particular questions. But um, if you're interested in a faith-based school, then more down St John's could be the place for you. So I'm going to stop speaking myself and I'm going to pass over to Malcolm who will give you a bit of input onto the university. Okay well good evening thanks very much Claire it's good to, to be here this evening and to be able to, to meet with you via, via Zoom just to outline really these were the aims of the program when we started to, to devise them and I think it's really helpful to think about some of the qualities that we're looking for in terms of, of, uh, of students going forward, so autonomous and creative and reflective, people that are open and want to embrace diversity and want to work towards inclusive classrooms as they start to go through. We're looking for people that are independent, who are free thinking, who are collaborative, and we're really lucky that many of the students that we work with display those attributes on a, on a really regular day-to-day -day basis. Thanks, Claire. So the structure of the Postgraduate Certificate in Education essentially has two elements to it. Um, the academic element and the professional element. So the professional element is about um, demonstrating or meeting the, the standards for qualified teacher status and completing the number of required days in schools and in two different schools. And that is essentially organized by the Greenwood Alliance. The university is very much focused on the academic element and uh, as part of the university work, you work towards a postgraduate certificate in education and potentially by the end of the course, you can leave with 60 master's level credits, which is about a third of a master's degree. Thanks, Claire. So a little bit about the University of Winchester. Uh, uh, Winchester has had uh, teacher training at its heart for over 100 years, about 175 years it's been involved in teacher education. And uh, we have a wide range of program from um, undergraduate provision to postgraduate provision but also masters and doctoral work as well so a wealth of expertise within the Institute of Education we're a values-based university and you can see our values there are compassion individual matters and spirituality and we hope that those values are demonstrated in the way that we work with students as it starts to go through like Ringwood we think that um, teaching should be a master's level profession um, it should have the same status as medicine and law and so we're really keen to combine those elements of theory and practice as you start to work during your uh, during your training year we were rated as outstanding in 2017 for both our secondary and primary provision and so you come to work with ringwood and associated schools but also with an outstanding university as well um, we have a strong focus on connecting theory with practice and over the course of the year, a balance of assessment types. So um, in the modules you work for, in the assignments you do, there's the balance of essays, but of presentations as well, and also a portfolio work as you go through the course of the year. Thanks, Claire. So for um, those of you that are interested in our secondary programme in conjunction with the Ringwood Alliance, these are the secondary modules that uh, we're involved with. And the first three essentially are the academic modules during the course of the year. The first one is around professional studies, and that has a focus on um, things like assessment, behavioral learning, um, the pastoral 
um, elements of, of a teacher's uh, role in a secondary school. Um, we're very much focused on developing your subject knowledge around those teaching approaches and pedagogies. The Skatsek module is curriculum studies. And in that module, that's about developing your subject knowledge per se in the discipline that you're working within. But also, we really like to focus in conjunction with the school on some sort of cutting edge um, teaching approaches within your subject discipline. And the final module is around inclusion and diversity. Uh, for that module, we're very much focused on inclusive practice, on special educational needs, on social justice, and how those um, are, are part of the, the life of the school as we start to go through. Thank you, Claire. These are the primary modules and a lot of similarities in terms of the broad areas that we focus on. The first module is called Perspectives on the Curriculum, and that's really about the content of the primary school curriculum, both as core subjects, but also foundation subjects as well. And when you work with the university, the assignment of focus there is around English and the teaching of reading uh, with a focus on phonics as it starts to go through. The second module is um, uh, what do we how do we teach research informed teaching and the focus there is to bring some some research into your your teaching and to think about how research is applied to your practice and the focus of the assignment for that is around mathematics and the teaching of early mathematics and then the final module is uh, respectful and inclusive classrooms and then the focus is on inclusion and diversity and social justice and the assessment for that module is linked to a presentation that you do around a, a child with a particular additional needs that you're working with. Thanks, Glenn. So in addition to a whole range of support that you'll have both within the Ringwood Alliance and within your schools, uh, within the departments you work with and the mentors and teachers you work with, there are also some um, support services you access through the University of Winchester. You're uh, uh, registered as a student at the university. So particularly of, of interest for, for our postgraduate students tend to be things around academic skills. So as you start to work at master's level, um, we have Richard Cole, who's an academic support advisor, and he can work with you to shape your assignments and to, to rework your work as you work towards master's level. But there's also opportunities to access student support services around wellbeing as well, if that's, uh, if that's needed. Thanks, Claire. So in terms of, of, of contact details, if you're interested in the um, overall the secondary programme, but also the primary programme, you can contact me at winchester.ac.uk and I can give you some information about both secondary and primary. Um, if you're particularly interested in the secondary school direct route, you might also want to contact Tasnim Curtis and she's our school direct route leader going forward this year. Thanks, Claire. Um, I love this. Um, uh, Jess uh, and the video spoke very much about why do you want to become a teacher and if you ever go onto the campus at the University of Winchester you'll see this um, a lot, be the difference and I love the one in the centre it says you have to try and decide what difference you want to make and I always reflect on that I think probably teaching is a real career where you do make a difference and can be the difference. Thank you. Thank you so much, Malcolm, for that. It's uh, appreciated you attending this evening to give us an overview and working so closely in partnership with an outstanding and local university to us is a, a real treat that we are really proud to be in association with. So uh, what qualifications can you get from School Direct? Well, we do offer, and as Malcolm alluded to, the gold standard, really. We believe in um, the profession being a master's level led profession. So you get your QTS, your qualified teacher status, along with your PGCE but you also will get from the University of Winchester 60 credits towards a master's and that can be converted lastly um, into a full master's if, um, if you choose to go on and do that. And the Winchester is our awarding body as our HEI, which is, is great and a, a great um, university to have on any um, CV for sure. So if you're considering um, what uh, requirements, entry requirements you need and whether your qualifications meet up to that, then it's essential that you have a grade C or above in English and Maths if you're going into secondary and a C in Science as well as if you want to go into primary. Um, applicants must have um, a UK degree or equivalent, so if you need to have anything NARIC checked, then please, the sooner you do that, the better for you. That'll be the same for any partnership that you apply through to train in, in the UK. 
You will also need to put onto your application two referees who uh, will support your application for working with young people. So please do speak to them before you put them down so that they're aware of the sorts of things that perhaps um, might be appropriate for them to support you in around working with young people. And of course, in order to convey any kind of message or learning, having effective communication, both written and verbally in English is so important for the students to be able to um, access and understand the content that is being taught. So that is an essential criteria as well. Desirable is um, that you obviously will have a degree, but it which should be a two one or above, but we would look at a two two um, with honours as well. Good A-level results or equivalent, ideally in the field that you are going to teach. It's very hard to know that you're going to be able to be in a specialist teacher at A-level, which many of our schools have with on their schooling, 11 to 18, if you don't have A-levels in the subject at least that you want to teach. But it's not a deal breaker. We understand that people make decisions about coming into teaching for different reasons at different times. So please contact us if you've got any queries over your um, qualifications um, because we do understand that your path was not always mapped out from the get-go so um, do get in touch and uh, it's desirable that you've had some knowledge or experience of, of being in secondary schools or primary schools particularly if you're going to look at the salaries route um, ideally the last time that you were in a school shouldn't be when you left it should be perhaps a little bit more recent than that um, and that is harder at the moment, we do appreciate, but hopefully this is part of a journey that you were thinking about before uh, March maybe, and so um, you will have a bit of an idea, or at least have done some research around the curriculum of your subject area or your phase that you're looking at. So be informed, I think, is the main thing that we would be saying. So there are uh, used to be skills tests to come into teaching, and um, rightly or wrongly, they don't exist in the same way as they did. So um, there are things that are called fundamental skills tests uh, for English and maths, but they are done as part of the um, interview process. And actually they um, are not quite pass or fail. Uh, we, we would aim to support anybody who fell short of the, uh, the mark for that. But um, again, nothing to worry about and we can give information on that for sure. Um, and um, Malcolm, did you want to add anything to that? Uh, no, no, not no, no. Fine, that's okay. Sorry, you just unmuted, so I was just checking. That's okay. So they are the skills tests, and that's how they will operate because they will form part of your um, interview program and process if um, if you decide to to apply through us. Okay. And um, so, well, how do you find out about the places that Ringwood School have to offer and the um, alliance that we work with? Well. It's through the um, DFE search for teacher training. You can find that. Um, type that into Google. That's quite a long um, web address to follow um, if you're going to try and write that down. And you can search for us by location or by um, our training provider um, or as a training provider or by subject. So there's lots of different ways that you can dice it. So you'll find lots of different providers. But we are called Ringwood School Teaching Alliance. Um, it's uh, useful to know that we sort of sit on the geographical cusp of uh, the southwest and the southeast. So you may find that um, if you're looking in this particular geographical area, it's worth doing a couple of searches to find out who's there. But Ringwood School Teaching School Alliance, and there's our postcode, you can type it in by postcode and you'll find us um, straight away. If you haven't already registered for getting to teaching, then I suggest you do because they will provide you with support and guidance on all aspects of getting into teacher training, uh, not just specifically about individual partnerships, which obviously we're talking about tonight. So if you do want some um, impartial advice around your qualifications, etc., then they're the people to be able to speak to. And once the bursary information is publicised on the Getting to Teaching website, you'll be able to speak to them about that if you've got any questions as well. But we'd be delighted if you had a look at what we're offering and um, be pleased to receive um, anything from yourselves in terms of contact or applications as the window opens. So um, some things to think about for yourself, if what you've heard so far is appealing and interesting and you think that you meet the criteria that we're looking for, for professionals to join the teaching um, fraternity in the UK, then um, consider what phase. It's really important that when you write your um, personal statement that you are specific about the phase you want to teach. Don't hedge your bets. Don't think it's secondary or primary. I've never met a teacher that didn't know which phase they wanted to teach in and I've never met a teacher that wouldn't tell you they definitely didn't want to work in that other phase. So make sure you work out which phase it is that's, that's the right one for you and then 
then write your personal statement to match that. If you're looking at secondary, consider your subject. Um, you might have the ability to teach a couple of subjects. Um, so think about uh, contacting schools to talk to subject specialists in those areas and try and find out why they are training in those areas. Um, the bursaries probably won't hurt to look at as well so that you can see the different um, shortages because that's fairly well highlighted by the levels of bursaries that are coming. So the end of this will be that you want to be employed. So making sure that you know that there will be jobs for you at the end will be good. Um, understand the different routes in terms of PGCE, School Centred Initial Teacher Training, other like, otherwise known as SKIT and School Direct. So make sure you know those and with School Direct make sure you know about the salaried and the um, training route and of course there is the apprenticeship as well now to be looking at which some schools will be offering and that's particularly um, at primary at the moment and the University of Winchester are a partner to um, apprenticeships as well currently so that's a, a great route in to have a look at if you're interested. Um, it says take advantage of the school experience placement offers sadly that's going to be now via telephone call and looking at the website so that you can make contact um, with colleagues in the schools but please do they do want to train teachers and we are busy at the moment in education as you could probably well imagine with lots going on but we do still see that there is a need to recruit teachers for the future um, I've recently heard statistics that uh, teachers are leaving the profession at the moment quite quite rapidly and I think that's probably due to the nature of the, the um, workload that's taken place um, during the last six months but that means that we're really really keen to support colleagues who want to join us to, to come in in September 21. Do start your application early so have a think about what you're going to write in your personal statement and please get somebody to proofread it. Um, as teachers we can't help having our red pen to hand and so the first thing we'll often see is that um, unfortunate typographical error that you've put in the first line. So get somebody trusted to read it for you. Very hard to proofread your own work, but um, easy to get somebody else to give you a sense check on that. So do that. Make sure you speak to your referee so it doesn't come out of the blue. It'll be an email that comes to them from UCAS. They might think it's junk or spam. They will even go into their, um, their uh, junk file. So just let them know it's coming because it will be held up your application if they haven't completed their references. It won't come to us until you've got both references complete, okay? Check your qualifications. If you need NARIC, make sure you get it. If you can't find your GCSE certificate, then apply for a new one, get a replacement, because we will want to see the originals and we will want to see the original certificate for your degree. So if you know that you don't know where those things are, you've moved home or had a clear out or something like that, then do make sure that you do that well in advance because that will stop you from um, being able to take up your place. And finally, um, just a date for your diary if you're interested in it. If all the things that we've said have um, really struck a chord with you, we will be looking to do our first interviews on Tuesday the 3rd of November via Zoom. So that will be a uh, time if you've got your application in, Ali will be in contact with you to say, right, this is what we need you to do and this is where, how you're going to do it. And um, we will start our process uh, for 2021 in, in good time, starting this side of the, um, the end of the year. So you can apply via UCAS from the 13th of this month. So we've wanted to get our information evening in but ahead of it so to give you a little bit of a flavour of what um, we're going to be looking for. And there are some handy steps in terms of um, submitting your application on the Getting to Teaching website as well. It really is a one-stop shop. And any of you that have contacted Ali Fanos already through um, Ringwood School, she's been sending you those links out. So um, please do ask her. And this video recording and PowerPoint will go onto our school website. So you'll be able to see that information here, there. So what happens next? For each application, the provider, um, that's us, will give you 40, um, will give you a response within 40 working days. That is the worst case scenario for us. Ali is very quick to acknowledge and she is very quick to reassure that we've received it and to keep you fully in the loop of the process. And many of the trainees who do come through us um, cite Ali as being one of the main reasons that they choose Ringwood School because she really does keep you informed and reassure you at all, all points that um, things are in hand and are happening. You can apply to three different providers. Um, one application to Ringwood School means that you will be um, seeing your application by all of our schools. So you don't need to use up more than one application for us. 
And our main thing is always to say to you, if you want to come into teaching, if it's not through us, that's absolutely fine. But come in through some partnership because we need teachers and we want interesting and um, keen teachers as well. So if it's not through us, please, that's we don't mind at all. Um, but do come in through somebody because that's important for us. You've got 10 days to make your decision after you've had potentially three offers of interview um, and perhaps offers of places from your different providers. So don't feel any pressure to accept the first one unless you know it's the one you wanted and then in which case that's a great outcome for you. But you mustn't be put under any pressure by anybody to make a decision. Go to all of your interviews, experience all of the schools, know what they're all about before you do anything um, that will make a, a choice for your future um, starting in September. You can look through um, UCAS at um, Track and Trace to see no, it's not track and trace, I've got that on the right, um, through the tracking process through UCAS um, to see how your application is going. So do use that if you need to. And um, as we said at the bottom, Ali will always respond um, on receipt of your application. So that's all of the information that we've got um, specifically to provide you with. And um, if there are any particular questions or if any of my colleagues wanted to add anything, then please do just unmute yourself and say that now. I can see that Malcolm has been um, responding through the chat, which is great. Thank you very much. And hopefully those questions have been answered as well. Malcolm, were there any things that we haven't covered that were in the chat that might be useful just to say for the recording? Um, I've just fixed the chat now, Claire. So, so I'm just having a, a, a quick look. Um, I think there's a question from somebody who's based overseas um, about how to enroll to school direct and, and QTS in, in economics. So, okay. So, um, Annie's just going to comment on that. Thank you very much, Annie. I was just um, messaging with uh, Kahindi, I think it is, um, directly about that. So, I think we're sorted there. Okay. Um, but, yeah, okay. any questions? Obviously, Ali's a good place to start with questions like that. Yeah, definitely. And you can email us at schooldirect at ringwood.hance sph.uk maybe Annie will just type that into the chat for us so that then people have got a record of that email address well um, if there are no additional questions uh, you have our contact details please do visit the Ringwood School website because there is the information um, on there and we've also just posted on there the different subjects for all of the different schools so you can have a little bit more detail about that uh, do email in if you need any specific advice and Ali um, will help you with that or direct your query accordingly and uh, we look forward to seeing your applications come in um, over the coming weeks and uh, hopefully get to meet you via Zoom um, on interview in early November. So thank you so much for your time and um, we look forward to hearing from you again soon. Thank you.